Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin and today's Wednesday the 7th of December 2022 and this is take two. I had some camera issues just a minute ago so we had to reboot, reset and it happens like that sometimes. Let's get right to the card of the day and this is what we had issues with. My um, little webcam up there, brilliant little piece of kit but when it doesn't focus it's not that great. Anyway, Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by the wonderful Radley Valentine and images by Dan Craig. Craig um, this is put out by Hay House. Incidentally, Hay House have been uh, bombing my email with um, offers and discounts. So if you're into some tarot or you want to look at some oracle cards or some books, you know, Christmas gifts or just for yourself, that will be a good resource. All right, let's get to it. Father in the Sky great mother of the earth, angels, archangels, ascended ones, lovers of the light. I set the intention that whatever message is ga gained from these cards be for the highest good. Uh, I'm going to put this back in uh, of all concerned. So be it. So shall it be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's enough shuffling. I'm going to take it straight off the top. Oh, here we go again. Um, see, here we go again. You know, not the, oh, you know, this little camera is not paying attention today. Uh, not the first time we've had the release card, traditionally a death card with um, in re regular tarot and the number 13, uh, Archangel Azrael standing in a, looks like a field of cotton, but you know, it could be anything. Endings, transformation, freedom. This is really all about letting go. Um, and, you know, uh, I've said before, it is not unusual for a major arcana card or any card for that matter. I think last week the Eight of Air showed up a couple of times. It is not unusual for spirit to remind us and to bring us another message that it is time to release and let go. Now, what's coming to me as I look at this card is, okay, the message really is to step forward and embrace the feeling of love, the feeling of goodwill, the feeling of prosperity, abundance, blessings of all kinds requires a release of the opposing energy, which means if there are a few unfinished conversations that have not been had, you have the power to make the decision as to whether or not you want to carry the burden of those awkward conversations or forgive it and release it and let it go. The release card also opens up energies for something new, something exciting, something courageous, something brilliant to step into your life. But just like closets, kitchen cupboards, the shed, your office, your drawers, anything like that, they fill up what we tend to do with our emotions and the way we feel about certain things is to stuff it down, shove it down, keep it down, keep it not saying that today is the day that you decide to liberate your thoughts, liberate your emotions and just, you know, vomit all this out. But there is usually a cycle of stuff that pops up and the holidays, if you're into Christian faith, bring those things to the surface. For the single folk who have been single for a while, it brings up the idea that we're on our own, we don't have companionship, and we're not sure if we will ever get companionship. That speaks to self-love. That speaks to releasing the feeling that you don't deserve love, that love's not coming to you, 
You don't deserve companionship, any of those negative, thought-provoking feelings. Archangel Azrael is here to comfort you and tell you, listen, let those things go. That's nonsense. We come in here from love. We go out of here with love. And if there is any lack of love, then the presence of fear is overtaking. And the presence of fear is all attached to that naughty little ego that just wants us to stay safe. The status quo, the I'm not good enough, it's too much, I can't, I won't, I don't want to. To quote Esther Hicks, that's all li linked to um, resistance. Anything you resist is going to persist. But I'm going to read again for those who may or may not have had it the first time, the um, description for this card, which uh, came from Radley. It can be very liberating to leave the past behind. So oftentimes we hold on to it for too long. We look backwards into the past when we should be looking at the present or planning the future. And while this card often signals endings, it leads the way for new beginnings. It asks you to stop res stop resisting the necessary change that you will make that will make you more fully alive, vibrant, human, the angel on earth. And when experiences no longer serve your highest good, it's time to let them go and trust the divine to lovingly guide you toward joy. The angel message that goes with this card is let go and we will walk you through and help you spread your wings so that you may fly higher than ever before. A new beginning awaits you. Making these life changes begins with changing your thoughts. Anticipate the endings. Anticipate the transformation. Anticipate the resurrection. Anticipate that great, oh, I made it. I got here. I'm good to go. I hope that all makes sense to you. You know, releasing, letting go is a huge release and relief. It is, it is oh gosh, so liberating. Um, I'll share something personal, then I'll let you go. For the last mm, maybe two, three weeks, I have had this urgency to release myself of stuff that I don't use anymore, that I don't want anymore, that take up space in my cupboards um and i do this periodically um a lot but there are still there's still more um and i put that down to the work that we're doing oh i've got goosebumps so i know my angels and guides are around us so um if you're a light worker and if you're on this channel and you're watching this you are the work continues doesn't have to be, oh my goodness, anymore, anymore, anymore. It can be the work and the labor of love. To find the joy, to find the peace, to find the harmony, to find all of that fantastic stuff isn't looking outside of yourself. It is right on in here. And when this great heart, and I'm not talking about just the muscle, but the great heart of who you are, what you were here to do, the great light, the great joy, the great lifter of vibration when that opens wide it requires room this is really important now i've got really big goosebumps we have to make room to let the light in and to make room to let the light in sort of like a garden you sort of got to sort through the brambles and the leaves and the and the and the what they call that stuff where you're trying to kudzu and all that um Oh my God, there's a word for it. Brush. We've got to let go of all the brush, all the bits for the grass to come in, for the flowers to come in, for the wildlife to come in. If that makes sense. Anyway. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Not really, Siri. You know how this is just crazy. All right, listen. I've got to let you go before more electronic devices start up. Last night, they were going off on the TV. Don't ask me why. Do, 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 do. All right. I love you. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Until tomorrow, my friends, have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye.